They'll be calling you a radical back to Fukushima. I want to set some things straight. Number one, before you guys start going off on me and take me out of context, whatever, I want to talk about our post ignorance project, the 29th and 30th of November. I want this work, this is going to be worldwide. This is your chance as an individual, as an individual. You don't need a group. This is something you can do by yourself. We will, on our webpage, it'll be up soon. You'll be able to organize each plant all over the I know there's one at Bruce going up, already being organized in Canada. There's one being organized at Ferme up in Michigan. There's lots of a guy post me. He's going to go to the one in North Carolina. You can do this on your own. This is a new way for you to make a difference as a person. That's why we're doing an organized. And you can hold your sign up, post your video, post your photographs. We hope this will be something that carries on all over the world. Uh, Andrew and Melbourne's doing one. Of course, Lonnie at Oregon State's doing one. I'll be down at Berkeley doing one. <coughs> I want people to understand that this is the lie bubble. I mean, you could temporize masses of the people. Look, as that quote was said at the protest in D.C., that young man quoted, I believe it was Mark Mead, of everything that's ever happened in real change in this world has been by the few. That's what this is all about. This lie, this facade. And I can tell you why this, how. I know this is such a gigantic facade. I'm a socioeconomist, and people that take me out of context and my ways, and the way I do this vlog, you watch a vlog of me, remember this. I was talking about leukemia on this vlog for three and a half years. There's people that have watched every video I've done. I was talking about leukemia long before Fukushima happened. And remember this. 311, 11 happened, I went crazy. That was long before I had leukemia. There are hundreds of cancer victims in this site. Hundreds. Hundreds of people that are fighting for a lot. I know of at least 20 that have watched this video who have passed away of cancer post Fukushima. Who got cancer post Fukushima. I got an email yesterday from a woman. She says, Kevin, your last words to me. Multiple myeloma, multiple myeloma, go in, have the chemo, just do it. You're desperate, you're down to that. You could do it. She sent me an email yesterday. She commented on our post ignorance that it was my words that encouraged her to do it. She's in remission and she survived and she's doing well. So these people that take this egotistical, arrogant, freaking attitude on it, they watch me, oh, I'm an information, I'm not an information giver. I'm not, I'm not, I've never been, that's, I'm an artist. I am a purely, at the core, an artist, period, period. I'm an artist in the spirit of Michelangelo. I fight back, just like when I got cancer. Oh, I fucking fight back. People that don't know me, don't understand me, oh, do they not? I'm a very broad, dynamic person who's accomplished a lot of things in my life. A lot of things. And up to date, my biggest accomplishment by millions of miles, surviving AML de Nouveau cancer. So as our fight against the nuclear liars, these fucking, they are fucking liars. This is a lie. How I know the big lie, I like to really watch heavily research socioeconomic social studies. The one marquee one that we really watch is what are the five things that people around the world and as Americans do not want to talk about with other people. It's always been sexuality. Sexuality has been number one probably for thousands of years. The data gathered for hundreds of years. It got passed recently. Just recently. It's a very, very, very big deal. It's their death status. And the world this zero percent rate, and I can tell you when this is going to come home to roost. This Fukushima cycle, in the news cycles, went up and down. Like, you're so groomed and postured in the fucking news cycle. Oh, it's going to go away. It'll come back. It'll, it, it's not going away. It's not going away. You can fucking kick the can. You can posture. And this is a fucking war. Do you not get the propaganda war? Look, and if you don't believe me, standing right in front of the White House, watch the RT interview with John Fairhurst for an honest. There I'm standing right there. Why we're standing right there. Here comes the motorcades into the White House. When they announced, RT themselves reported that the Obama administration is calling the typical officials to the White House and they were meeting. We were standing right there. 
The flyby is a surveillance plane. They're gathering data on the China syndrome, the nuclear fission. They're in a panic. They're switching. I'll tell you how they're in a panic and they're switching. They've let the cartel, the Livermore Lab at Berkeley, which we've exposed through the FOIA documents, who was running it, right out of the situation. Gregory Jacko himself, who was in the situation room, head of the honor seat. They're in a panic. Those guys were in the show. Dude. I can guarantee you the number one subject matter right here, right now, over the last freaking 10 days in the situation or in the bottom. It's not the healthcare fight. Oh no, that's at least his worries. It's Fukushima. They are in a panic. They let those guys run the show, telling them they're, they could fix, handle it secretly underground. They can't handle it. What do you think that fighter plane? That's a big deal. That screen capture photo. I'll post the photo. Wow. What's going on over there? You fucking print media fucking whores, and you're launching, oh, Japan's backed out of the Greenhouse Initiative 2050 because of the activists have freaking fear-mongered everybody out on Fukushima. That's the opposite of the truth. Nuclear fallout is the greenhouse gas problem. By shutting down the nuclear plants in Japan, and you think they're gonna fire, you're dreaming. Germany's backed out, fucking Switzerland's backing out, everybody's backing out except for us. I pledge allegiance to the United States of General Electric, nuclearism. You journalistic whores, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's make this happen. Is that's going to be our call? Because I said that in front of the frequent. Let's make this happen. We're like an organic, mutated sunflower, which I have one in my yard. My volunteer sunflowers this year—the one big head flew out. They've been there for decades. They volunteer every year, grew and died very quickly, and four of them grew out of the site. And even in the snow and the frost, the blooms are still on there. Wow. The lie bubble is bursting, and I can tell you when this is going to all come tumbling down the card, when real estate values start to fall in California. That is the propped up fallacy of this whole thing. They've gone to everybody, the CMA, the California Medical Center, all of them. Every time they come out against Fukushima, the marine biologists, everybody in California comes out and says, oh, they go to them simply and say, hey, you start reporting any marine biologist report, and this fucking rat from fucking troll, the banana fucking using the tuna study that fucking Chernobyl's killed no one and from the register, you rat trolls, fuck. I hope they read that at your funeral when you get cancer. They're going to them and saying, hey, you can't report this, look. Yeah, it's gonna kill you and your kids and fucking everything, you know, you'll be a accessory to murder. But if you report this, your real estate value is gonna fall. And that's this entire economic bubble that's sitting on there. You're gonna see real estate values start to fall in fucking California soon. And I'm fucking here to, even with the propped up fucking inflate your way out fucking dollar. They're out of options, they're out of fucking tools. There's a panic going on. That flyby is a big deal. A really big deal. There's China syndrome going on, nuclear fission, it's been going on for a very long time. They let the fucking Cal Berkeley fucking cartel and their bullshit reification, their cold fusion fucking liars, idealism, thinking they had it. Didn't work. They're in a fucking panic. The fucking look. Because you know me, my science here can get. It's like I said, people that don't know me, I'm a very broad person. My plastering career, my teaching career, my derivative career, my finance career. I'm a very complex person. Look, if I've ever known one thing in my soul, the artist in me says this so dramatically. Nothing else matters. We're all connected now. This is not going away. This story will grow bigger and bigger for fucking dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of years. I've never known anything so dramatically in my soul. Literally, I ate, sleep, drank this, now I literally sleep with it. We're in the fight of our fucking lives here. This is your chance to make a difference at one place, one time. Social media is a powerhouse. We need to use it. We need to be, we need anonymous on our side. We need the truth tellers on our side. And you people that think that this is some kind of science fiction or fairy tale, you're in La La Ville. Nuclear is very real, right in your backyard. Nuclear fault is cancer, period, is cancer. I've said it for so long now. Alan Greenspan, the greatest terrorist of all time. Dot com bubble. Housing bubble, hope bubble. Next one to come, and it's right on the precipice. The lie bubble, as though your facade is gonna come burning down. The facade is your fucking styrofoam matching, 
that you're fucking leveraged up to your fake rock, your fucking fucking facade that we've evolved into. Nuclearism. Fukushima, the great equalizer. All your money can another minute buy. The fucking facade, the fucking lie bubble is bursting right here, right now. And all you fucking journalistic whores that have played, you're on the wrong side of history, fuckers. Karma, karma, karma. And remember this, fuckers. I've been fighting AML leukemia cancer with two fucking, I mean, like my nurse said one day, some punk got into it with me. She says, you think Kevin's scared of you? He's been fighting the biggest fucking bully in the fucking world for two years. AML leukemia. I don't think he's scared of you, punk. I'm not scared of any of you fucking rat trophies, because I am fucking fearless. Stay in tune it.